What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to fix the content servers unreachable error that you could be getting in Steam when you pull it up and head across to the Manage Downloads section. You'll see it in red text over here where the time is. This is an updated guide for the new Steam UI. The first simplest solution is to fully restart Steam. Click Steam in the top left, then from the drop down, select Exit. Then, once it's exited completely, you can restart it from a shortcut on your desktop or however you usually do it. Next, we can try changing the download region. Click Steam in the top left once more, then head to Settings, then head across to the Download section where you'll see Download Region. Simply scroll and select the closest server to you. I'm in South Africa, so Johannesburg is the closest one to me. There is, of course, Cape Town. Now, wherever you are, if the closest server isn't working properly for you, try select one that's nearby but a little bit further away than the closest. So, for example, I'll move from Joburg to Cape Town. Usually, this will only be an issue where there's tons of people downloading from one server and it just can't keep up. On top of this, you can try disabling limit download speed over here as well if it's already selected. Next up, let's try changing our DNS servers. This could also result in a much faster internet browsing experience, so that's a free bonus. On Windows 11, right-click the networking icon in the far bottom right and select network and internet settings. Inside of here, head to the way that you're connected to the internet. For me, I'm on Ethernet. Then, under your current connection, simply look for DNS server assignment down here and click edit. Then, change it to manual from auto, enable IPv4, and for your preferred DNS, enter 1.1.1.1 for Cloudflare, and in the alternate, enter 8.8.8 .8 for Google. Of course, one may be slightly faster than the other. Cloudflare seems to have the edge for speed, but you can swap these around as you like. Then just click save. Now, if you're on Windows 10, simply open up your control panel and inside of your control panel, head to network and internet, then network and sharing center. And inside of him, click the way that you're connected to the internet. For me, it's ethernet too. Then head to properties at the bottom left, followed by locating and selecting internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and clicking properties. Then inside of here, we can enter the same settings. So use the following DNS server addresses and we'll enter one space to go to the next spot, one space, one space, one, and 8888. Click OK or validate settings upon exit and OK. Should you choose validate settings upon exit, it'll open up the troubleshooter and tell you nothing is wrong, the meaning that we changed it successfully. Awesome. Now that we've changed our DNS server on either Windows 11 or 10, we should flush our DNS cache. Hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog, type in CMD and hit enter. Then inside of here, type in IP config, one word, space forward slash flush DNS and hit enter. When you see this, it's successfully been flushed. Now you can try restarting Steam by clicking Steam in the top left and exit, then restarting it to see if things are working properly. You can also reboot your PC for good luck. Now, finally, if you're using wireless, make sure to try and use a wired connection if possible to improve shaky connections. If you can't, try and move closer to the router. And finally, if you have access to a VPN, you can try using it here. There are tons and tons of providers, all at different price ranges, including free. All you really need to worry about is how much data you're able to use before you get charged, if charged at all. So pick any VPN provider, connect to the closest server to you, restart Steam, and see if the download works then. It's usually the best fix if all else fails. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video, so thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!